this problem says, does this molecule um, rotate plane polarized light? Okay, so let's just do that analysis that we said. Remember, we can build the model of the model of the molecule that we see up on the board, and then build what its enantiomer should be. Okay, so in other words, we look here. Um, taken the liberty to build it previous to the recording, so you won't have to watch me build it. But anyways, you see the methyl groups up here, the methyl groups back here. We've got a methyl group here and a methyl group here. Okay. So remember, these are sp2, so there's no um, stereochemistry associated. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to build the mirror image of this molecule. Okay. So I've Taken, like I said, the liberty to do that already. Let's see if I can. Okay, but anyways, can you all see that they're the mirror images of each other? Okay, you all see them? Mirror images? Okay, so. What do we do? We just see if those things are superimposable or not. Well, that way they're not. But if we turn turn it around, stick it on, and you can see the up methyl group is there. I don't know if you all can see it. There's a lot of black and white. But the back methyl group is there. This methyl group is there. This methyl group so, if you're having a hard time finding these um, achiral molecules, just looking for internal planes of symmetry, if you have some time at the end of your test, you know, build the molecules and then see if you can superimpose them. And that'll tell you if they're chiral or not. So, since we can um, superimpose its mirror image, is this molecule chiral or achiral? Okay. A chiral, yeah. I've got a different pen. Yeah, I'm not supposed to. A chiral. Okay, so it does not rotate plane polar. So. Any questions on this one? Wonderful.